the exhibition is about new modes of fabrication. It's really about the next industrial revolution. And it's a way that uh, new modes of fabrication will allow mass customization. It's about the way we can make things now through 3D printers and robotics, where instead of everything being standardized, this notion of mass standardization that came out of modernism, that came out of the first industrial revolution, we're now in an era in which we can make everything differently. Everything can have variation, and everything can be unique. And so our role is we're the exhibition designers for the show. So normally that's about designing display systems, it's about designing perhaps the tables for the exhibition. We, we had a slightly different commission for this project. We were asked to think of the exhibition design as an exhibit in itself. And so very generously the curators have asked us to take our research and make a, make a prototype, uh, make an experiment, and that experiment becomes the exhibition design. So the thing that's, that's around me, this is one of the main parts of that exhibition design. And it's a series of tables which begin to wrap up and make, uh, I guess, an architectural space. And so this is where we're really testing to say, okay, could these techniques start to make an architecture? And if so, what type of architecture would that be? A lot of the project is really defined by a sort of interaction between robotic or automated computerized techniques and then handcraft. So even though we're in this, you know, this new technological paradigm where we can suddenly make things robotically, still there's a lot of things that have to be done, or maybe not have to be, but are more efficient to be done by hand. So this structure is partly milled by robots. Some of the formwork is, is made robotically. Some of these, these parts are carved by robots. Other parts are extruded by robots. But then the five glasses are laid up by hand. And so I wouldn't quite say it's, it's a traditional construction technique, but it's a technique that's been in boat building for you know, several decades. And so my research is really about algorithmic design. So it's a form of, I would say, generative design. And when I talk about generative design, I really mean designing the design process as much as designing the object. That's one part of the research. The other part of the research is how you begin to build these things using new manufacturing techniques. So using robotics, 3D printing. Over the last decade, our design work has been through programming. So we literally write computer code and we write com computer software to generate our designs. Or it's, it's a bit false to say generate our designs because it's always an interaction between us and the computer code that we're writing. We, we write the rules, it starts to generate things, we manipulate it, and there is a sort of feedback. And we see writing software as an extension of, of design. And so instead of a previous generation who would sort of accept software as a, a given tool, we were able to extend the design process into designing that tool. Now that we're using robotics, we're extending it into designing the robotic tools. So while a lot of the exhibition was about, about products, the exhibition design was really about testing this at an architectural scale. And so for us, we see this not as a, not as a sculpture and not as an exhibition design, but really as a, a prototype for architecture, something that wants to grow up to be a building. And so we see the, you know, the next step of this is to, is to make a building in the same way that we're making uh, this type of structure.